Hey girls and guys, it is Sarah from Sai Let's Play and we are back and today we are going to play an app game called My Breakup Story Heartbreak Nightmare. So usually we're always playing games where like the couple falls in love and it's a happy ending. But this one is all about a breakup so I'm excited to find out what's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Ooh, did you see that red slap mark on his face? Ooh. Hi, oh. I'm Stella. Hi Stella. My first day at college. So excited. I can't wait to meet new friends and start my wonderful college life. Or maybe Ooh. a college romance. Ooh, she's looking for love. Okay, girl, from the title, I can tell you, you're gonna have a college romance and then you're gonna have a college heartbreak too. <sighs> but don't worry, Stella, we'll be here for you, okay? <laughs> We're all gonna help you through this, so don't even worry about it. Okay. Wow, <laughs> I'm actually here, my dream college. I wonder who's going to be the first person I talk to. Maybe a cute boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make it a perfect start of my wonderful college life. I like her positivity. Oh. <gasps> oh. Stella? Stella Lawrence? So she already knows this guy. Jacob, what are you doing here? Must be like a high school friend that she knew and now they're going to the same college. Oh. What? I didn't know you wanted to come here. Say, okay, so I was right. Yeah, we haven't been in touch since. Since what? Right, I. Um. Have a Wait. Class. I guess I'll see you around pretty often. So. Did they, maybe they liked each other in high school or they actually dated in high school and now things are a little bit awkward? Right, so, see ya. It can't be that awkward if he came up to her and said hi, right? So it can't be that, that bad. Oh. Oh my god, it was super awkward to encounter Jacob today. Girl, you did a good job though. You didn't look nervous or awkward at all. We haven't spoke to each other since we had a big fight and broke up two years ago. So they did date. Okay, that is really awkward. And he moved to another city with his family. Wow. So she hasn't seen him in all that time. Wow. Okay. Of all the colleges in this country, why would he come here? It's the worst day ever. <laughs> My college life is now ruined. Well, so much for her being positive. That went downhill very quickly. <laughs> but to think about it, she made a scene? Okay. I wish things had happened differently. Our relationship could have ended in peace instead. Well, Stella, you're in you're in college now. You could turn things around and you could make things better. The next morning. Is she still thinking about it? Stella. She is. <laughs> You can't be late for school, girl. Get up. You gotta get out of bed. Oh, yeah, Mom. Coming. She's just too sad right now. She's just like, Wait. this is... Why is my mom in my dorm room? I was kind of thinking that. I was like, it's weird that she... But I thought maybe she was like staying... She didn't wasn't dorming in college. I thought maybe she was staying at home and then just like driving to school or something. <laughs> huh? This is my room at home. What happened? Was it all... I think it was all just a dream. Is she actually still in high school? What is going on? I'm so confused. It's two years ago. The day I broke up with Jacob. So she's going back in time. Okay, she's going back in time to the day they broke up. So maybe this is like her chance to redo it all. Have a good breakup instead of a bad one. What should Stella do? Okay, this must be a bad dream. I'll just go back to sleep. I'll just skip school today. I guess I'm given another chance to fix this and I shall make this right. I'll pretend I'm sick and stay home all up today. So if it were me, I think I would just stay home. But I think Stella wants to make things right with Jacob. So we're going to go ahead and give her another chance to make things right. I guess I'm mm -hmm. given another chance to fix this and I'm going to make it right. I better prepare for school now. Yes, you should, Stella. And don't worry. Like I said, I'm here for you. We're going to help you out, okay? We're going to make sure this is a nice, smooth breakup. So, let's get started with your hair because it's kind of looking a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. Still beautiful, but... 
Let's brush this bad boy. Come on, get your hair done. Is it done? Let's get that. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Get some nice makeup. Some nice little blush. Perfect. So let's see. Why don't we go with like a nice pink shade? So we got like this little red color here. I want something a bit more subtle. I like that color. It's a little bit orangey. Very nice. Very nice. And now some lipstick or lip gloss. Depends on how we want to go with her makeup look. Um, oh, that's a real... Okay. I was like, why is it turning purple? That's a really nice color, actually. There's also this one, which is a little bit more pink. It's very slight difference. This is more of a nudie color. This is a very bright red. You know, out of all of them, I really think I like... One of the colors we tried on. I'm gonna go, go with like a bit more pinky color. This one here. There we go. Good? Good, I think. And then I don't really want any gems or anything like that on her lips, so we're just gonna leave it like that. And now she needs her outfit for the day. Her OOTD. There we go. And now some shoes, and of course your backpack. Don't forget my so, bag. let's grab your notebook, your keys, your lip gloss, your phone, it. of course, and a letter. Yes, <gasps> Is this her I breakup letter? I was wondering why she was wearing a uniform, but she's back in high school, I forgot. Okay, so she's back in high school now. She's got everything she needs. So here we go, time to relive our breakup day. Come on, Stella. You can do it, girl. We all believe in you. Good old high school. <laughs> this is where I saw Jacob cheating on me with Becca. I guess I'll just wait here until it happens again. Oh no, he didn't. Ooh, Jacob, now all of a sudden I do not feel bad for you at all. <gasps> what should Stella do this time? Ooh. Jacob is definitely cheating on me and I'll confront him. Watch them quietly and do nothing. I'll remind Becky that I'm Jacob's girlfriend. I'm pretty angry now. But I'll just calm down and play along. So, we can't say he's definitely cheating because we're not sure. Like, what if she jumped to conclusions and thought he was cheating, but he's not? Uh, I don't want to just watch quietly and do nothing. I think I'll go with being pretty angry and just see how it plays out. Well, we got to see this for our, with our own two eyes. Keep it together, Stella. Keep it together, okay? Here we go. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Becky. I didn't realize you two were friends. People would think you two would make a cute couple. Okay. Okay, Stella, I like you and everything. But as his girlfriend, you shouldn't really tell him he makes a cute couple with someone else. <laughs> That's weird, okay? Oh, Stella. Hey. Why do all the mean girls always sound the same like that? Hmm. That's what you thought, Jacob, but no, I'm here watching you and what you're doing. I was. It's finished now. Hey, what are you two going to do? Anything fun? Why are they not inviting her and why is he not like, going over there to stand by her side? Huh, Jacob? We are in the same study group now. We should have joined the rest of the group five minutes ago. Shall we talk later? Study group. Mm-hmm. That's what it's always called. Study group. What are you studying? Exactly, Stella. Question him. Figure it all out. Get all the details. I joined it quite recently. Listen, Stella, we need to go now. I'll call you. Bye. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Ugh. Okay, go follow them. Find out what's happening. No, why are we back at your room? Oh, no. Definitely something going on between Jacob and Becky. Oh, my God. It still hurts. Ooh, girl, you look like a mess, though. We need to help you, because this is not okay. You cannot let him get to you this much, okay? If he cheated on you, he is not worth your time. All right, Stella? Oh, go breathe into a bag. Calm down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Get some air, okay? My jeebus, Stella. You haven't even seen him 
like cheating on you yet. You just saw him talking to another girl and this is how you're acting? Imagine if you actually saw him kissing her. I'm afraid what would like happen to you. Let's just wipe away all this makeup, all this gunk and stuff on your face. Here, just put this in your eyes, yeah? Yeah, you need, a, you need a face mask too. You need a nice little spa day. Relax a little bit. Because you should not be this wrinkly in high school. There. I was trying to straighten it out. Is it good? Are you wrinkle free now? Huh? She is. Perfect. And now, let's rip this. Rip it. Rip the picture. Rip it. See, this is a sign, Stella. That you are not meant to break up yet. I think she jumped to conclusions. I don't think he actually cheated on her. I think she saw him together and got jealous. Uh-oh. There he is. What does he want? She's trying to pretend she's okay, but she's not. Are you all right? Anything wrong? Hmm. It's a lot wrong. What is going on between us, Jacob? <laughs> Stella, relax, girl. What are you talking about? Listen, let me take you out to a nice dinner tomorrow, and we'll figure it out together, okay? Yes. That sounds good. Stella, you actually didn't see him kissing her or anything. You just saw them talking. I don't like Becky either, but that doesn't mean he was cheating on you. Uh-oh. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know how what to think right now. Let's just go on and get ready for this date, maybe, and, and see what Jacob has to say for himself. I think tonight is the key to fix everything. If I get it right, I may be able to leave this time loop and go back to my present life. Yeah, and maybe you'll realize that he maybe didn't cheat on you, Stella. That you maybe you just got a little paranoid, you know? But what should I do? This is just too exhausting. I don't know. I'm actually not sure what you should do. I think you should just talk to Jacob and, and see what he has to say. All right. I'm not old Stella Lawrence anymore. I'm going to do this in the new Stella style. Yes, girl. Okay. Be the new you. To begin with, I need a new look for dinner tonight. Oh, makeover? I'm your girl. I'm going to make you look fabulous. Sweet and elegant or tough and independent? Oh, Stella's a strong independent woman, so we're going to definitely go with tough and independent. I want to see I want to see a little rebel inside of her, you know, the rebel side. So let's Oh, nice little black dress. We got the same one kind of in red. Um I think definitely Oh, that's a nice dress too, but we're going to go with that cuz she she's killing it in that dress. Now for shoes. She needs some nice heels. We're going to go with a little pop of red. Boom. Yeah, I think the red ones are the best. So definitely the red. And now some fierce makeup. We want them bold and beautiful. So here we go. Let's go for some bold eyeshadow. A nice red to match her shoes. Yes, definitely. Let me see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't worry, might look a little not not that great right now. But I think we I could we're gonna make her look good, don't you worry. So for blush, I want something okay, there's a little pink there. Um, is there anything more subtle though? We're gonna go with the pink, the light pink. And now let's get oh your lipstick. I forgot about your lipstick. So I wanna go I saw this really like vibrant red. That's what I want to go for. Design a Where is it? Lit for me. This one here. No, no, not purple. This one. There we go. Because she's confident, okay? And now, for your hair. Comb my hair. Don't worry. Your hair is easy to, to brush. It's just very tangly. But, no big deal. Well, I'll get it up. There we go. I think you should have gone with a different hairstyle though, Stella. Like well an updo or something, you know? Because this is how you always have your hair. So let's go, Stella. Let's go to this dinner and find out the truth. Don't be old, Stella. Be confident. Ask the questions that you want to ask. Okay? Wow, oh. Stella, you look different. I mean, beautiful. Oh, Jacob. I always look this beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. I mean, shouldn't you say that to her though? Cause that is his girlfriend. Let's order some food. I am starving. 
All right, you're hungry. I am too. So let's see what kind of food they have. So they have. Okay, what kind of, this is this is a, a casual restaurant. Some pizza. Let me cut the pizza. That sounds good. I'll always say yes to pizza. No one ever rejects pizza. It's pizza. I mean, come on now. And now some. I don't really like spaghetti. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people like spaghetti, but for me, I don't. I don't really like the the, the sauce. So. I like eggs and bacon, so definitely that. Mm-hmm. And then a nice little salad. So let's put some mushrooms. Oh, this is a fancy salad. Some shrimp. Put that there. Some little tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. And that looks like eggs. But I'm not sure. Could be garlic, but I think it's an egg. And then let's make you some juice. So apple. Pear. And a strawberry. Okay, okay. If that's what you want. You know, I would have gone with like lemon, green apple, and strawberry. But whatever you want, Jacob, you get. So let's stir this up. There we go. And now, did he get her flowers? I brought you some flowers. Hope you yeah, like you better have. She deserves them. So let's go with this. Ooh, which paper do I like? We'll go with that one there. Now let's pick out some flowers. I like these. The little pink ones there. Could put some lavender, but the yellow flowers look really cute. Ooh, those little red ones are nice too. And now we need a nice little bow. So we'll put one there. Hmm, I think I'll go with that one. Because I like the little tag on it. There we go. So she's got her flowers and everything. So here we go. Uh oh. What? No, I just want to take you to a nice dinner and make you happy. Oh. Okay, Jacob. You know, Jacob, things are not gonna just magically happen. We need to talk about it. Is he gonna be like talk about what? I have no idea what this crazy woman's talking about. Stella, I don't understand. Hmm. Uh. What's going on here? Hold up a second, okay? I was being real nice and very polite. Why is Becky here? Acting shocked to see me? Becky? What are you doing here? What's happening? Jacob, why are you still dating someone who upsets you so much? I thought you wanted me to be your girlfriend. I have no words right now. What is this? Jacob, you better explain this. Yes, Stella, you get real fierce right now, okay? Becky, what are you talking about? I thought we were friends. Well, she thought something else. You like me, and your girlfriend upsets you all the time. <gasps> wow. Seriously? Okay, what, what? is going on? Then what did you mean, Jacob? Tell us, please. What should Stella do? Throw a glass of juice at Becky. Even though I hate Becky, she is not the one that I'm dating. So, for that reason, Jacob is going to take the full blame. Because too many women attack other women. But no, it's the man's fault in this situation. So, leave in anger, stay calm, slap Jacob in the face. I know I should be a classy woman and stay calm, but I kind of want to slap him. But I also want to leave angry. She's supposed to be trying to do things differently. Ooh. Violence is not the answer. But this is just a game, so I'm going to slap him. <laughs> oh, this is going to feel so good. <laughs> slap him. Ow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just. Psh. Stella, this is way out of line. No, Jacob, you know what's out of line? Is you bringing this Becky girl to our date. Hmm, it's always Becky, isn't it? Mm. Becky with the good hair. Let's go, Jacob. If he leaves with her, I'm gonna be so angry. Oh no, this is not the way out. Let me try something else. Okay, so slapping him was not the way. Stay calm. Stay calm then. I got my anger out. Let me stay calm. Could you please stay out of this? This is about Jacob and me. Yas, girl, stand up for yourself. Jacob. This is what I was trying to tell you. Whatever our problems are, we need to face them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
not get other rather talk to someone outside this relationship instead of me i think we should take a break good job stella good job you're a better woman than me because i would have slapped him as he saw stella please don't do this how do you want me not to i think it's the best solution bye jacob so she said bye jacob but i think she meant bye felicia because she ended it with him wow girl props to you you did a very good job there stella okay so now she's obviously figured it out it's not necessarily that he like kissed becky or anything but there was something going on what did i do wrong what why is she still here nope Don't lie, Stella. You're not okay. No, you are not okay. What you need is fun. There's a pool party at Jason's house, and you are just invited. So, is she gonna get with Jason? Thanks, but I'd rather stay at home. No, don't. This is not a request. I'll pick you up at two. Ciao. Exactly. This is not an option, Stella. You need to go out and live your life and have fun, okay? Forget about your ex. Well, that was not fun. Wait, I saw Jacob. Why do I have to run into him everywhere? I don't understand why. So leave the pool party, stay put and do nothing, wave at Jacob, turn around and walk away immediately. I think we're definitely not going to wave at him because he doesn't deserve that. But this whole thing is about her trying to be like the better person. So maybe we should. Because... <laughs> That's the right thing to do. Talk to Jacob like when we are friends. I don't understand why have to we be friends with him hey, though. Jacob, didn't know you'd show up here. <laughs> I wish he hadn't. But oh well, he's here now, so let's be nice. So I figured I've been trying to reach you, you know. Why? Jacob, I don't think it's a good time to talk about it now. It's not. You're at a pool party. Have fun. What well, you should have thought about that before you started talking to Becky. <laughs> I I need to go. Yeah, Stella, do whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? If you need to get away, get away. <gasps> Wait. Stella? Okay. Um so Stella fell and is almost drowned. Stella, okay. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Now she's going to have to love Jacob because he saved her life. Here, have some oxygen. Good? You feeling better? She's she's alive. It's okay. You'll be all right. Take her blood pressure. Seems, I don't know, okay, I guess. And uh, let's get her all dried up. It's all right, Stella. All right? Let's get you all better. There we go. Get you all dried up. Good? No, nope. she's still, she's still. Now you're good. Okay. And here, put on something. Ah, he gave us his jacket. But still, I don't forgive you. Hmm. Don't think you're getting away with this just because you saved my life, Jacob. No, 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 no. It's not that easy. Okay, so now she's back. Wait. I haven't talked to Jacob since that terrible pool party. Should I call him and say thank you? I don't know, Stella. Maybe. I guess. Oh. Come in. Is that him? Hmm. Ah. I still hate him though. Weird. Hey! You're weirder. Let's go. <laughs> so I guess for Stella, this was her happy ending, right? Because, like, she didn't want things to end badly and end up being awkward. She obviously wanted to keep Jacob as a friend, and that's exactly what she did. I personally would have stayed angry for the rest of my life, but Stella's a better person because she didn't hold on to the grudge. <laughs> So the question is, what would you have done in that situation? Would you have been like Stella and wanted to end it as a friendship? Or would you have rather just have nothing to do with Jacob? Or would you have stayed angry at him forever? I think, honestly, I would have just like not ever spoken to him again. I wouldn't have been his friend, but I wouldn't have hated him either. I just would have been like, you know what? You ain't worth my time no more. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. As always, I'll have a link to the game down in the description below. Hope you guys had fun watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!